To write the name for FEPO4, we first need to see that we have this polyatomic ion. This is the phosphate ion. So the phosphate ion is bonded to iron, Fe, which is a transition metal. So we have a metal, this group of nonmetals here, the polyatomic ion. This is an ionic compound. I'm going to use these rules to write the name for FEPO4. Let's first write the name for the metal. That's the Fe, which is just iron. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is PO4, phosphate, lowercase p. And so far, we have iron phosphate is the name for FePO4. But we said iron is a transition metal. That means it can have different ionic charges depending what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to the phosphate ion. And the phosphate ion has a total charge of 3 minus. That's on the whole PO4. This is a really good one to remember. So we have this 3 minus on the phosphate. The iron has to be 3 plus for the charge, the net charge, to be 0. Because we have the 3 plus here on the iron, and it's a transition metal, we write Roman numeral 3, and we put that in parentheses between the iron and the phosphate. That makes the name for FePO4 iron 3 phosphate. If you had the name and you were writing the formula, you'd know the charge on iron is plus 3 because of this 3 here. Iron's plus 3, and then you've memorized that the phosphate ion is 3 minus, and it would just be FePO4 is the formula for iron 3 phosphate. This is Dr. B with the name and formula for iron 3 phosphate, FePO4. Thanks for watching.